For more insight on this important Greek election and the economy, I spoke to Christos Panakopoulos, Greek ambassador to the U.S., and I asked him about the frustrations in trying to address the country's debt issue. From what a point of view, you are right, but if you go deep into the analysis, we're not, we're not going to annul our uh, constitution order, our democratic achievements, just to please the markets. And uh, uh, if I can tell you, the final argument is, okay, Greece goes in a very difficult position, the lenders agree to lend th their money, and their interest is to help us out of this, because in case, this is not going to happen, but just in a scenario that we fail, the first ones they're going to lose their money is the lenders. So they have no interest to do something crazy. So much progress ha has been made over the past couple of years since this crisis began. So I want to ask you what more should have been done or what more needs to be done for this progress to continue? As I'm telling you, Phil, uh, for the very first time we have primary surplus. It's a big achievement. That means that we spend less than we earn every year, let alone the debt, which is going to be dealt on another level. So we are on the right path. Right now, what is it we need in order to fight unemployment and all these ugly, I mean, symptoms of the financial crisis? Growth. So we need money from abroad. We need a good climate so uh, investors from abroad, they can trust the Greek economy as they have done during the last year. And we expect during 2015 is going to be at a much major, uh, uh, I mean, uh, scale. So we need more money to grow our economy. This is good for us, for Greece. This is good for our lenders also, because they're going to get their money back. So it's a win-win. Growth is the magic word here. The, um, some of the headlines that I saw from the European, European neighbors said that um, there was some criticism they were too hard on Greece when this crisis first uh, broke out. And they've come out and said, to your defense, we're going to be a little easier. We're going to make the rules a little bit looser. We're going to be a little less tough on Greece. Is this a... Um, part of the unintended consequences of the political drama that's playing out to, this is to somewhat your benefit. Uh, what you touch with is a major question. Where the faceless markets that, that can impose on elected governments their will, that's a major philosophical question for our time. And unfortunately, my country is in the middle in the eye of this storm right now. We have our own approach. And uh, certainly, some of the uh, recipes that they have been suggested by our lenders, obviously, they were taking out oxygen from the Greek economy. But last and everything, logistically, it might show good to them. But at the end of the day, they do not allow growth. The magic word here is growth. So we can grow the economy, repay our debt. It's not to take money out of that. But that's another discussion. First of all, we have to go back to the program and do whatever it takes to make a more modern and more competitive economy. Tourism is a big part, obviously, of the economy in Greece. When we think of Greece, we think of um, the national monuments, we think of the, the beaches, the, the, the weather, all this nice things that we think about. It's a big part of the economy. It's come back along as the economy has as well. Walk us through how important that is and how did you get tourism to come back? Like you said uh, very rightly, it's one of the big pillars of our economy. It motivates, I mean, uh, so many business and uh, it employs hundreds of thousands of people in my country. Last year, I ca this current year, we have a record-breaking number of tourists. We're a nation of 11 million in Greece. We received more than 23 million people. That was a record-breaking. It was due to hard work from all the elements that they present our, let's say, tourist uh, uh, industry there. And we're improving, we're innovating. We're a beautiful country, beautiful weather. We do expect uh, next year much more uh, friends and visitors to come. When you think of um, outreach, obviously we talk a lot about China and the number of record visitors that they have that's, that's leaving China to go visit other parts of the world. I imagine Greece is certainly on that radar. I, is there anything uh, that the country is doing perhaps to, 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 to invite more of those tourists who are, are leaving places like China in record numbers? Uh, so they can ultimately, I guess, suppose, help the economy, obviously. Absolutely. First of all, the bilateral climate between China and Greece is uh, uh, so good, I could explain to you. They are welcomed everywhere. Your president has been in my country. Your prime minister has been in my country. Big investments coming from China, they create an even more favorable climate. So the Chinese people, they are so much welcome that uh, they couldn't even believe that. So uh, on another issue, more practical, we're working on making the visa accord much more easier for our Chinese friends. Like you said, uh, we'd like to see much more uh, Chinese people 
as you know, as you know already, there is a middle class in China right now who would like to go abroad and visit other countries. And uh, I think they have in mind my country. The next step is to establish a direct uh, uh, airline between uh, one uh, uh, destination in, uh, in China, depart from China, I mean, coming directly to Greece. Look, the last couple of years, we have talked about Greece going into default. We have talked about Greece leaving the euro, leaving Europe. I mean, the worst case scenario, but none of that has happened. Recently, the opposition, par opposition party has talked once again about potentially leaving the, the, the euro group. When I mean euro, I mean the currency itself. Now, can we once and for all put it to an end and say that Greece needs to be in the euro to prosper? I would reverse this. Greece, of course, needs Euro, and this is something which is generally accepted in Greece, with some exceptions in the parliamentary, parliamentary parties. But on the other hand, Euro, as it is interwoven, I mean, in the Eurogroup zone, cannot live without any member, no matter which member it is. The repercussions are going to be devastating. So this question of uh, Greek, uh, Greece out of Euro, it's uh, out of the question. Special thanks to Christos Panagopoulos, Greek ambassador to the United States.